What's up guys, this is Acidic Roots. I wanted to review Marilyn Manson on my vlog channel versus my music channel just because this is more of an occasion. I've been waiting for this new Manson album, slowly but surely bought up some albums over the past couple years and you know I'm thinking that this one's going to be a part of the collection. So first I tried it out on Spotify and I have to say that it's business as usual here. I'm not, I wasn't expecting a disappointment, but I was wondering if Manson still can have the spark. Now, I didn't listen to The Pale Emperor, and that was before I started listening to his music. But I, you know, from the collection of songs that I heard, I wanted to know, you know, some folks, if there's certain critics that'll say, you know, Marilyn Manson's best days were back in 1996, back in 1999, or 2001. I wanted to kind of understand where some of these songs are coming from. So obviously songs like Sweet Dreams, The Beautiful People, Disposable Teens, Mob Scene, you know, some of these early days, Manson and mid-early days, you know, whether or not he's going to be performing some of the songs off this album, Six five six years from now i think kill for me fits that mold i mean that's the single that works for it that one has uh pa it packs a punch and i was you know i can tell by listening to that one i think that one will probably be played at shows and i'm, I'm glad you know this is definitely a thing so out of 10 songs how many other ones do we have to worry about and you know obviously it's, you don't really have to worry too much with Marilyn Manson, but uh, you know how some albums are when you listen and you like the singles, but the album cuts don't work out so well. So I was glad that this was not the problem. This wasn't the problem with Antichrist Superstar. It, you know, I'm discovering that Smells Like Children had more hits than just Sweet Dreams. And I'm trying to get that way with Portrait of an American Family, but Antichrist... Mechanical Animals, some of these extra albums do do that. And seeing as there's 10 songs, you know, if you dislike too many, that cuts the replay value. So obviously we know where you fucking live. That's either the promotional single or the actual first single. This one uh, feels kind of like the lighter version of Kill For Me and uh they do both feel similar i mean the thing about these albums is that the guitar does not seem to be as present in these verses as much as it would be in a song like the beautiful people so it has kind of like a different style it just feels more creeping and uh i don't know if it's bass guitar i don't know band instruments as well but it feel it feels more like in the background instruments more so than the first thing you notice is the guitar so that kind of brooding and gloomy nature to some of these songs, you're going to hear this a lot throughout this project. So I think the, the guitarist for Marilyn Manson is Twiggy Ramirez, and it's more the chorus that the guitar, his part, shows up. So he might be the bass guitar. I don't really remember. I know I, I knew the guitarist for Marilyn Manson uh, a few like a few days ago, but I, I, it's not coming back to me at the moment. So, yeah, some of these background songs on here, like Say 10, the, the, what the album was going to be called, that one has a real creeping feel, and yeah, I mean, I, I, you're, I think you're going to like that one. Uh, I'll, yeah, several of these songs happen to do that. I'd pretty much say all eight of the first eight songs are going to be thumbs up. Jesus Crisis, That One, Say Ten, Tattooed in Reverse. These are all songs that pretty much are going to be pretty solid album cuts. I think really shouldn't take too long to like them. They sound similar, but it almost feels like it's going for like a rap type appeal also. You know, you listen to it, and it feels like this is something that with a sound system and these sorts of things, you're going to be able to hear that much better, which is strange for rock. But, you know, I'm not going to complain about that. So Revelation 12 kind of had, that one reminded me of the Antichrist Superstar days. And then there's some more... 
personal and well not personal some more thought provoking songs nine and ten are that way so basically songs two through s two through five and then seven are the fire of the album and then i'd even say revelation 12 is up there so basically one through five does it that's where the heat of the project is and <clears throat> Blood Honey was kind of, uh, that one was Marilyn Manson living up to kind of the creepiness. And, you know, I did appreciate listening to that one. So when you want to listen to the lyrics, you know, as I purchase this album down the road, I'm going to listen to it more in depth and start to see what it's about. But I wanted to initially decide, okay, do I want to buy this album? And the songs that I see myself listening to, you know, whenever I'm ready to listen to music, I feel like Kill For Me has that, Satan has that, uh, Jesus Crisis has that, Tattooed in Reverse has that, but I want to get used to these songs more. So obviously, first reaction to it, it's worth a buy. I think that that's the important part. I could, you know, be amateurish and just say, oh, this is a 10 out of 10, or I could say it's a 9 out of 10, trying to... I, it, it, to me, it's not so much about it being a perfect album as much as it is that I want to fucking buy it. So that's what I'm concerned with. I, I, I'm not, it, it's not as important that I have to like every single song on the album. So that's where I was aiming for this time, is just making sure that, you know, okay, do I want this album? Are there going to be songs that I'm going to have in rotation? What's How is this going to go down? So, you know, I think this will graduate from a Spotify playlist to me actually owning the CD. So that for that, I'm glad. And yeah, so if you want more reviews, you can check out Acid Roots channel, not Acidic Roots, but this one will be on my vlog channel. So, all right, subscribe for more fun.